so there's a little patch of green over there. I don't know what I did there, but I probably messed up sometime. But we're getting a nice sort of even yellow, actually. I'm going to change... Oh, there we go. So most of our fields that are planted are greenish. And that's kind of where we want to be after the the manure spreading. 741. Okay. I'm going to try and get this triangle here. And then we'll come back with another load. How's that look? That looks awesome. Um, I'm going to do that corner too. Just because it'll make things a little bit straighter later. Straighter later. Okay. Uh, this this spreader is a ridiculous size. I will admit it. Okay, we are empty. Let's get back to the yard and uh, go get some more. This is actually one of the longest drives. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We have to do to get anywhere from either of our farms or from the other farm. At the moment, there are other places on the map which are even further, obviously, but of what we own, that's probably the worst. I need to chain line. I think maybe once I'm done, oh my god, dear, splat. Um, once I'm done with uh, all of the seriously manual work, I think maybe what I need to do is then run off to. Uh, Um, run around in the Land Rover and we'll go and check each of our fields the uh, nitrogen levels and the lime levels and just see where we're sitting with all of them it's not fair. it's because I'm pushing the wrong button Okay, push the right button and you will get manure in your cart. So once the mass is finished, which um, it looks like it has done, we can go and tidy up what it's done. And get to rolling. Well, it's kind of a bit slow, I guess. <coughs> I can't remember which fields I've planted and which fields I've mowed so or rolled so far. Oh. No, we've got one in the old yard down by where our house used to be. And Anthony521, welcome to the stream. Uh, nice of you to join us. Uh, if you watch YouTube, you can catch up on this series on YouTube. Uh, the link is at the bottom if you're using a PC. Otherwise, it's a little more difficult, but I'm still OSA on YouTube. It's just that you get a lot of other stuff come up that's not necessarily me. The easiest way is search for Farming Simulator and OSA. You'll probably find me at that point. Uh, but welcome and happy Easter. So, um, yeah, this morning we have our former foster kids over. Um, they came over yesterday and they're now painting eggs and being loud. 
So uh, we'll have them in the background for today. But apart from that, we're, we're doing very well. We've, we've had quite a nice, peaceful week for a change. Um, next week we have a few people with doctor's appointments, but uh, that's fine. Just, you know, I've got my annual check up. Mrs. Osa's got her um, post-operative three-month check up. So, not a big deal there. Let's get that lined up. But outside of that, everything's going well. How is everybody here today? Um, I obviously forgot to ask, and I missed a little bit there. I'm just not going to worry about that. That's, that's not a worrying thing. So, series-wise, um, as explained, we're using um, precision farming. So, there is a certain amount of you know, things you need to do to keep things working well. Uh, as far as what we're doing here is nitrogen, nitrogen is concerned. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, all I'm doing is getting the field close to what it needs to be. Just so that when we go over it later with the expensive stuff, it's not going to cost quite so much to buy the fertilizer. But we're not going to be planting soybeans this year, so I don't have any fields that I don't have to worry about the nitrogen content on. Russell, like, put different colors on. Anyway, we'll get this to good enough. Okay, so how many manure fields do we, or how many fields to manure do we have at the moment? We've got two, we've got the field covered in stones, which I'm not going to do until we've lifted them. And uh, we've got a lot of planting to do, so. Um, oh, I did say, yeah, the Massey Ferguson has finished rolling. I don't have to worry about that right now. Should have enough manure in here for this one, then we're going to need to go back to the yard again. But we'll move them out. Well, we'll finish off the Massey Ferguson's rolling. Is it rolling? Mulching. Whatever it's doing. It's doing a thing. And then I really do want to check how well our fields are looking. I kind of got it off. Oh, we're going to have more than enough to finish this. So, that's a good thing. Cow's still not producing milk and I don't know why. But I'm going to leave it, I think I said four more months, so October, November, December. Yeah. We might not have any milk production until January, but we will see at that point. I already spent 4000 5000 on worker fees today. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, I will get this bit. I was See, that's what I was 
we'll get this bit down here. Okay, let's close the door. We're good. Let's turn off GPS. So I'm going to put this in the other yard. We will jump over to the Massey Ferguson and get his mulching job completed. I think, apart from this field to our right, that's all the mulching we need to do today. And as I said, we've got September 1, 2 and 3 to plant, so I don't have to go completely overboard and finish off the mulching right now. You seem to be stuck in a tree. Now, this is almost impossible to tell what we've done. And where am I? I'm in this field here. Mulched. I need to do the whole of this top edge. Possibly a little bit along the bottom and then this edge. Okay. Um, or we could flip that. Okay. We could flip that and do that edge behind us. Oh yeah, Massey needs a serious overhaul. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, contrast between um, cut soybeans and mulched round is the same. So I can't tell the difference at this point. We're just going to drive around and see what it ends up looking like. And my goodness, that's a whole load of dust that we're chucking up there. So yeah, tractor needs serviced, but at 80 hours, that's a thing. Now there is a low, a low hour Valtra G up for sale. Unfortunately, it's going to have the 105 engine which means I would need to upgrade the engine, which is going to add a price to it, or cost to it. It doesn't have front loader tools, which is something we we specifically bought... Oh, did that wrong. We specifically bought this tractor to use with. So that Valtra G, while it has less hours, would be kind of a bit of a, an a, a additional cost to bring it up to the spec we'd actually use. Now, to be fair, I would probably up it to 145. This is only 125. But again, that adds quite a significant amount to the top end of the, uh, the cost of the tractor. But it's, it's one of those challenging things when it comes to replacing this tractor. It's not worth anything significant. So uh, it's not like selling it will free up some cash so I can buy something else. It's really a case of I can sell this and it's going to make me £20,000. Just not a lot of cash in Okay, let's see. We can get around there and come back again. And I think this bit here didn't get done yet. Oh, hi dear. 
and lift that off the ground, let the dust clear and take a closer look at that and that looks absolutely fine. So, let's fold that up. We'll go get the roller and uh, get the work of rolling our recently planted barley field. Deutz is still running 32% seed left in the tank. Still that's okay. So mulching, the only field I have left to mulch is covered in stones. So as I said, we're gonna, gonna deal with that a little bit later, fortunately. We now have to run down to the other yard, which is where the workshop is. And this tractor is in dire need of some TLC. So, we'll grab the roller. And head over there. How's the roller looking? 92%. Roller is fine. And there's a band coming. All right, and we can check on how the mass of the Deutz is doing with its seeding job as we drive by. So that's the last of the barley fields we need to plant. And taking a look over the hedge, he'll be done soon. We can clear up the edge. And there are bits around the edge, it's missed. So yeah, this this tractor's sixteen thousand. It's it's not. I couldn't get anything to replace it for close to that amount. The Valtor G still there, thirty eight thousand. If I wanted this one to bring it up to the Massey spec, I need to do that. It's got a panoramic roof. That's fine. Wheel set up. You would want. wheel weights, uh, design active, that's fine, front loader, that, hasn't got GPS, that's the minimum I would have to do with it, which takes it from 38,000 to 51,000. If I was going to do this properly, I would just take this up to 145 horsepower, because we are looking for something a bit bigger. Wheel weights... I think that's the advanced package, inter internal package. That's that's nice. Um, and this does have a three-point front, which is better than what we have on the Massey. So that takes us up to 60,000. And I'm kind of wanting whoops, something a little bit bigger than this and if I get something a little bit bigger than this then we'll keep this around just for you know the odd job around the farm. Also need some diesel, fill that up. Because we can still use this to give the cows um, things and stuff. I can't remember what the things and the stuff we give them are, but we, we give them stuff. Oh, yeah, there's an idea. I guess once this field is rolled, Actually, that roller doesn't stick out as far as I thought it did.
and off you go. I feel like the reason why you And like I said, I didn't think it was the wiser that I thought it was, and I still miss the edge, so we're probably going to have to do the edges anyway, so I'm not too fussed about that particular problem. Uh, now. I'm going to take this back to the workshop will fix up the header <gasps> and then maybe what what I was going to do was check each of the fields at least the lime levels not so much the uh, the other stuff Okay, that should be close enough. Uh, that's fine. That is okay. That's more than okay. So, just wanted the. Oh, no, no, no. That's a bad way to go. I this around. Okay, we got an uh, egg though. So we've got lots of straw here. I, so I'm perfectly egg. happy with our lots of straw. Clap, so, so, quick trips so around the farm. As we already determined, the grass is ready to I cut. Okay, we have bad nitrogen, 60 short. We're going to spray this anyway because there's also weeds here, um, which either need a hoe or a good spray. This is barley. Barley is 180 requirement, so, yeah. 120, we've got 60 more to add. pH is perfect. pH was good on that one as well, wasn't it? Yeah. So, that's two fields planted, that's our grass field again. Come around here. So we have the field directly across the road. <laughs> uh, this is now planted over here, so we should get, oh, keep doing that, a good read. We have weeds, it needs rolling, and it says that the nitrogen is perfect. We have thrown, oh, yeah, we have kind of thrown a lot of stuff on this field that didn't need to go on this field. doesn't get all the way to the edge, so we'll do what we can here. The problem is, is I can only tell where I haven't seeded when we bring the roller through. Um, the, uh, what's the word for it? The, uh, The texture that this cedar puts out yeah. is exactly the same as the texture of ground that has had uh, manure thrown on. Oops. Let's try not killing the bees. That's a plan and a half. Okay. So, uh, 
again, we're going to have to do the whole how does this field look thing. Um, we've missed that bit. There's a couple of patches there. And there's a whole load of stuff along the bottom. And then there's the rest of that corner. So, what do we think? I think I will take us down here. Cedar is on. And let's get this done. And I really do want, before too much longer, to get a bigger cedar. And one of the issues I did find out, I think from Driver 53, was um, there now isn't a problem seeding and fertilizing at the same time. So we might get a seeder that does both and that then means we have to seed with a tractor that has a sensor on it but um, and this is the only tractor I have with a sensor on it but I could always get the active sensor and that would fix that particular issue so seed it up to the edge we'll drive through the hedge because why not and then 